I'm going to be uh, reviewing the history of Queen. Um, I have a t-shirt, uh, Frame Mercury. Uh, he formed the band Queen since he was 24 years old. Um, it was 1970. Uh, 1971, uh, they had a bass player named John Deacon. And uh, probably around 1972 through 73, they put out their uh, first two albums with the uh, 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 with uh, Queen and Queen 2, uh, famous for their hit songs Keep Yourself Alive and Seven Seas of Rye. Uh, Seven Seas of Rye, uh, they performed that on the Tops of, uh, they performed that at the Tops of the Pops. And um, they were a, a support act for Mott the Hoople um, since uh, 1973 at some concerts in England. Um, yeah. uh, back in the late 1974, sometime in October, uh, Free Mercury had a number one hit with uh, Killer Queen, which is on their Sure Heart Attack album. And uh, they uh, performed some songs from uh, that year. Um, their first live edition of Seven Seas of Rye was at their Rainbow concert since March uh, 30, 30, 31st, uh, 30, 31st of 1974. Um, a, a year after, they did the uh, Ain't None the Opera tour, um, um, which, was, uh, a, a which, was, uh, a which was an album since 1975. Famous for Frank Mercury's hit song, Bohemian Rhapsody, which will soon be a movie um, sometime on Christmas Day this year, uh, 2018. And, uh, um, yep. Back in 1975, uh, Frank Mercury was seeing uh, the earlier concert versions of 1975 through 1976, which uh, ends at their uh, free concert at, at, at High Park. Yep. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, during nineteen seventy six and seventy seven, they done their tour for eight days of races, which uh, ended in their concert in Earl's Court, London. Uh, they did two shows. Um, nineteen seventy eight, they promote. Nineteen seventy eight, they promote. In 1978, they promote the album um, Jazz. Uh, they got good Sony songs like Bicycle Race, Bad Bond Girls, Let Me Entertain You. Um, since uh, those uh, songs were a new uh, lineup in their um, concerts from that time. Uh, the first live album, um, Live Killers, was issued in 1979. My uh, my uh, dad has that album from uh, that year. Um, he uh, he got that from a friend since uh, that time. Um, during the nineteen eighty, uh, Frank Mercury grew a mustache. Uh, they perform uh, concerts in in Los Angeles and uh, Oakland and Hartford, Connecticut. Yep. Well, the uh, game tour lasted till 1981. Um, probably the uh, first song that they ever done in Montreal, Canada. Uh, they did their first live appearance with uh, Under Pressure. Um, uh, they collaborated with uh, David Bowie. Yep. In uh, 1982, they embarked their uh, Hot Space tour as uh, promoting their Hot Space album. Which has a uh, good sign songs as uh, they're um, touring them that year. Um, some versions of Bohemian Rhapsody since 1982. Frank Murphy kind of sings like uh, a, a little bit like uh, a very well, but a kind of uh, um, throat um, infections that he uh, does have. Yeah. 
Queen uh, broke up in 1983, but they came back strongly in 1984. During 1984, uh, Frank Mercury did appear with a vacuum cleaner by Hoover as appeared on their music video, I Want to Break Free. Uh, during 1985 to 86, uh, they did their magic tour. Um, before that, in 1985, they did do, um, uh, they did uh, recording their um, song called One Vision. Um, and there was a documentary about that song, it, and it contains how they uh, um, are recorded and uh, are done in music. Yep. Uh, Frank Mercury uh, did um, sing well at their Wembley concerts, which uh, ended so fast at Network Park um, by uh, August 9th uh, that year in, in 1986. Um, I got an actual Queen DVD at their concert for Budapest. It might be mistaken for their last concert in Network. Um, um, let's see. Um, Oh, back in 1987, the uh, Frank Mercury did uh, do a cover of the Platters, The Great Pretender, because the Platters did it first before Frank Mercury did, but he uh, must have grew up around the Platters and uh, he wanted his version and uh, sing, uh, and uh, he sang uh, that uh, very well actually because uh, he did super amazing. Um, uh, there was uh, one Frank Mercury from Australia named Thomas Crane. Uh, he once appeared on Australia's Got Talent and uh, he uh, uh, performed a tribute to Frank Mercury. Um, Frank, uh, Frank Mercury soon passed away in 1991 on November 24th uh, that year. Um, uh, there might have been um, some uh, tribute acts to Queen. Like uh, God Save the Queen or Bohemian Rhapsody, which uh, Bohemian Rhapsody might be a movie in, in, in uh, this year, 2008. Uh, I, I, I'm at two, I'm at 2018. Excuse me. Yep. Uh, there might uh, there might have been the previews of uh, that movie coming out. Yeah. Uh, uh, back in 2009, Queen uh, performed some concerts with Adam Lambert. And uh, he uh, kind of did went as Frank Mercury at, at a few concerts, and he did a, a very amazing. Um, George Michael finally passed away, and uh, I remember um, I did a tribute to him. Yep, uh, I, I went to him in 1992. Uh, George Michael did um, Queen Somebody to Love, and also Brian May song 39 as Sing Very Awesome. And thanks for watching the History of Queen.